time for Big Game Breakdown. But last chance before we do that, Bet Online wants to buy your Mayweather McGregor pay per view, $100 value. Retweet this message. That's all you have to do to enter through Saturday, and you're in. Hopefully, you win. Must have a Bet Online account to qualify. Thanks to Bet Online, they want to pay for your pay per view. So let them retweet the message. We'll preview the fight on tomorrow's show. NFL, Patriots and Lions Friday, two and a half, 44 the total, under minus 120. Patriots 0 and 2. Lions 2 and all money already showing on New England. Pick them up to two and a half, which usually happens when it's 0 and 2 against 2 and 0. Who knows what Belichick wants to do here? Brady 6 and 9 with 67 yards and a touchdown over two series last week. I don't know if he'll get that same work, but Garoppolo, maybe he needs the work. Two turnovers, a sack, a fumble, and an interception. He said, quote, the O-line did a great job for me tonight. The sack fumble was my fault. You can't have that happen. I'm the quarterback. It's my fault, end quote. What do you think Hoodie wants to do in this one? Well, let's talk about the markets real quick because this is a classic knee jerk. You're going to see it in the preseason. You're also going to see it in week three of the regular season. That is the 0 and 2 versus the 2 and 0. And the markets will always, I shouldn't say always, almost always knee jerk towards the team that hasn't won a game over the team that's supposedly fat and happy uh, at 2-0. and And that is at least part of the reason why we've seen the money come in uh, on New England this week. And it's been significant money. This is not uh, a light move towards the Patriots. When you're talking about trying to predict Hoodie, and I don't get involved with a lot of New England games in the preseason, because Hoodie doesn't give any information. And betting preseason is all about getting good information about what the coach wants to do. Hoodie doesn't say anything. Uh, you know, Garoppolo certainly had a rough week uh, last week. You know, Brady's a guy who doesn't need a ton of work with the first string offense. So one would anticipate, in theory, that we'll see a lot of Garoppolo in this ballgame. But you know how it is with Hoodie. You know, Bell, when, when the coach doesn't tell you what he's going to do and his mum about his plans, those aren't the type of games I'm particularly interested in wagering on in preseason. Certainly not a situation where I'm excited about betting on New England. I don't think Hoodie cares that the Patriots are 0 2 in August. I don't think he would care. They were 0 4 in the preseason, but the markets do what they do, which is an auto knee jerk towards the 0 2 team. Lions trying to work on their running game, which is 25th and 27th on Football Outsiders' rushing efficiency charts the last two seasons. One of the best names in all of football, the OC, Jim Bob Cooter. It's been a big point of emphasis for me. Dealing with my own background, what I've gone through, it's been an important point of emphasis for me this offseason. I think I've personally improved in the run game, how I see things, how I call things. I know we're going to run the ball more efficiently. I'm very confident of that. And, quote, the other problem is, uh, I think, since 2014, Stafford is dead last in yards per pass attempt, which has been, it's been a dink and dunk offense uh, as well. Caldwell, there's an old saying, you achieve what you emphasize. It's always going to be an emphasis until I'm satisfied with it. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes longer than what you'd like. In some cases, that's the way it is. Not an easy fix. What do you expect out of Detroit in this one other than, you know, Jim Bob Cooter trying to get the running game going? Well, that's worth noting because the Lions have spent the first two games of the preseason kind of chucking the football around a little bit. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the game plan this week or next week for Detroit. Totals betters need to note. You know, Lions want to get Amir Abdullah going. And, and, you know, here's a guy that, Certainly, he was a difference maker at the college level at Nebraska, but he hasn't been able to stay healthy in Detroit. Only 161 rushes, only 30 catches his first two seasons. He only played in two games last year. Don't be surprised if the Lions hand the ball off a lot in this ballgame because that Caldwell quote tells you everything you need to know. This is a point of emphasis. We need to run the football. You know, <laughs> you go, sometimes it takes longer than what you like, uh, but it's not an easy fix. And we can anticipate Detroit methodically trying to run the football in this one, which is perhaps another reason why we've seen some of the New England money. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now, we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.